Well, good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny Goff. Today, I'm gonna be canning up some mint chocolate sauce. My granddaughter's birthday is quickly approaching in June and we are gonna be doing a pool party with a full ice cream bar. So, I'm going to be pre-canning some of the toppings for the ice cream bar. So today, I am canning mint chocolate sauce. Let me show you how I make it. For the mint chocolate sauce, um, you'll need some Dutch processed cocoa, some light corn syrup, granulated sugar, water, and um, if you want to flavor it, you'll need some either oil or extract. I'm going to use peppermint oil and vanilla extract. First off, I have already prepared my jars and they are in my water bath canning canner simmering. Now, it's so weird. <laughs> to be water bath canning. I swear, I haven't water bath canned in so long. I'm super excited about it. Um, as much as I absolutely love my pressure canner, it's a lot more work and a lot more time consuming. This is it's just faster to, to water bath can. I just, I love to water bath. So anyway, I'm excited to be doing a water bath video for you. Let those guys continue to simmer. First thing we're going to do is find my list. <laughs> and my measuring cups. I'm going to put three cups of granulated sugar into this pot. Move everything out of the way here. Oh, it's a busy sourdough day. <laughs> Got sourdough starter here and I just fed my other sourdough. I, got, I now have two going. One's more weedy than the other. Probably don't need to know that on my chocolate sauce video. <laughs> There's two cups, and here is my third. Now, I must forewarn you that this is not an approved canning recipe. Um, you know, it's, it's a sugar syrup. Same as, kind of along the same lines as canning the fruit with um, the chocolate, like when you do the black forest jam and the ball canning, so I'm not really worried about it, and a lot of people can it, so. Um, but do your research, and if you decide you'd like to can it, you go for it. If not, play it safe. You can still make it and refrigerate it. Okay, that was just a cup and a half out of here, so I don't like to waste anything. I'm going to get all the dust out. Okay, there's my cup and a half of unsweetened Dutch processed cocoa. Get a little whisk. I like to whisk these two together before I put the um, water in. And we need a cup and a half of water. So there is one and a half. I'm going to turn this on. Okay, putting in my two tablespoons of corn syrup. There is one. I'm gonna put my extract and my oil in last. Okay. I just wanna whisk this all together and then I'll, I'll switch out for a spatula, a rubber spatula. I am going to bring this up to a, as soon as this comes up to a boil, I'm going to turn the heat down and I'm going to simmer this for about 15 minutes just until it thickens.
Okay, this has come to a boil. I have turned the heat down and I'm going to simmer this for 15 minutes. So when the 15 minutes is up, I'll be back. Okay, my timer's gone off. It's been 15 minutes and I just turned my heat off. Now, I am going to add a smidgen of salt to this. Um, any sweet tastes better with salt. So I'm gonna put an eighth of a teaspoon of um, kosher salt in there. Melt that in. Okay, now we're gonna put in our flavorings. I'm putting in uh, one and a half, or I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm putting in a half a tablespoon of vanilla. And then I'm gonna put in peppermint essential oil. And if you're using essential oil, be very careful. I know for a fact six, six drops of this stuff is too much. So I'm gonna be very careful. One. Two, three, four, five. Oh. I didn't mean to get that fifth one in there. <laughs> Ooh. And that, my friends, just cleared out my sinuses. Putting essential oils into a hot pan. Ooh. Stand back. I just want to get it stirred in there good. Okay, I'm going to get my canning stuff set up here. Okay, hopefully that's a good angle and you can see everything. Now, technically, they say if you're going to process these for over 15 minutes, that you no longer need to sterilize them. I still do for any water bath canning. It's up to you, but um, I always still I always do. I also simmer my lids in water. I'm going to be leaving a half inch head space. Wow, and look at there. Chocolate on my mat already. <laughs> I just can't not make a mess. This smells so good. It actually smells Christmassy. This would be a wonderful thing to can for Christmas. Who knows, maybe we'll still have some left for Christmas. Need a little bit more. Maybe. We'll see. Summer's coming. We do like ice cream, especially by the pool. Okay, that is nice and thick. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna stick this in here and just kind of run it around even though it doesn't really need to be debubbled. I'm just gonna make a mess with this. Oop. Hopefully you can see. Ooh, my jars are hot, hot, hot. In rings, I never put in water. There's no reason to.
Um, this is just plain water. I'm not dealing with any fat, just sugar, so it's just water, not vinegar. But I did put a little white vinegar into my pot just so that my jars do not get discolored. I'm not real worried about the rings. I mean, yes, they turn, but heck, I have so many rings. You can do these in um, smaller jars too, the little four ounce jars. I think this is about all I'm going to get out of here. I was going to double it and I thought, how much are we really going <laughs> to eat of this? <laughs> you know, um, one jar in the summer will probably be enough and then one for her birthday party. And then I'll still have one on the shelf. But this made about three half pints. So you get about six four ounce jars out of here. I got a little much in that one. Okay, now that I've made it the biggest mess. I'm going to put the lid on and turn my heat up. Um, as soon as this comes to a non-stop full rolling boil, I will start my time. I'm going to process these for 20 minutes. All right, so quick note about the chocolate sauce. I simmered it for 15 minutes and it did get a little bit thick. Once it cooled off in the jar, it was, it was really thick. So <clears throat> the last time I made it, I simmered it. It must have been simmered at a lower heat than I simmered it this time because it didn't get quite this thick. Um, so make sure that you keep an eye on it. Um, you know, if I have a gas stove and I had it up a little bit higher than I probably should have, so it um, thickened it up a little bit more. Not that it's not going to be good. It's super good. And by the way, um, my five drops of essential oil was perfect. Um, it is excellent. And I can taste that little bit of salt in there. Oh my gosh, it tastes like Christmas. Um, I am definitely going to make this again, probably in July. Um, then I'll make a double batch and I'll make them smaller in the little four ounce containers um, so that I can give them to the kids too for Christmas because they will love this. It, it really tastes Christmassy. But we're going to use it for um, my granddaughter's birthday party, her ice cream social mermaid pool party. <laughs> anyway, I'm still waiting for this to get done so I'll see you in a few. On another side note, I want to say if you are going to use essential oils to flavor your dessert sauces or any other recipe, just make sure it's the edible essential oil. Um, not all essential oils are edible. My timer just went off. I am going to turn the heat off and take my lid off. I'm going to let this sit like this for about four minutes and then afterward I'm going to bring the basket up and let it sit for another four minutes before removing them. All right, I'm going to pull my chocolate sauces out and look how beautiful 
They are gorgeous and definitely delicious. My leftover tablespoon, I just ate that. <laughs> and I'm definitely going to be making some more of this for Christmas, most definitely. So whether I make um, double the recipe or make four times the recipe, which I might do because it's really good. If you don't like mint, you can definitely flavor with any kind of flavor you want. Um, so if you don't like peppermint, you can definitely flavor these any way you like. Um, there is a variety of essential oils that are edible. Also, candy oils. I use those a lot when I'm making frostings and cakes, desserts. I like the candy oils. Um, I have a lot of extracts too. You can definitely use extract. Um, when I'm dealing with chocolate or things like that, I prefer the oils, but you can use either. Um, so many ways that you can flavor this. You could even use a mixture. So if you did vanilla and orange, it would be more like an orange cream chocolate. Um, you could do a couple different fruits. Um, I don't know that I would put like lemon in your chocolate, but orange is really good in the chocolate. Um, Raspberry is really good. Strawberry. Really, you really, you're, you're unlimited, <laughs> Whatever, however you want to flavor your dessert sauce. But it, you know, the, or you could just do the base chocolate with the vanilla and leave out the flavoring and just make it plain. That would be good too. Hope you enjoyed this canning video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. And share my videos with your friends if you think they'd like them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.